Yo, what's happening YouTube? It's Miguel. Um, I'm back in for vlog number three. And I just got this uh, Nike order that I uh, set up. I think I must have bought this um, maybe three, four days ago. Um, so I thought, yeah, let's, let's start this episode off with the unboxing of it. up um, here is a pair of sprint shorts um, I'll show that in a bit here is a training top that looks kind of cool so, yeah there's that and then finally the big one is my new uh, training jacket so that's going to be really cool because um, I don't really have a training jacket I currently only have my uh, laugher one so yeah I'm gonna just quickly uh, I'm, I'll take off this packaging and We'll take it. Okay, so yesterday was a PB run for me. Um, felt really good, uh, but there were several things that I thought I'd go over and highlight um, to you now as part of this video. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at this. So, let's take down the volume. So I get a good start, react quite well, I think. I think I'm, oh, hang on, let's see if I can get, I think I might be first out of the block, so I'm, I'm in lane five there with the dark looking vest. I think, well, reaction times are pretty much all the same. So I drive well, but one thing I'm doing wrong is, if you can see, is my right arm, which is right here, swings out more than it should do instead of being tucked in. So I'm kind of using my arms and I'm running a bit awkwardly. Um, this is a good attack, but the problem was it didn't lift my trail leg high enough and I ended up really smacking the hurdle here quite hard which made running to hurdle two kind of awkward. See, my whole body's twisted here instead of being straight like it should be. Um, and it meant that my trail leg was sort of not following a clean path through. It sort of slunk through. Um, that slowed it down quite a bit. From here on was the cleanest part of my race. This is where I really felt like I was running sub 14 sort of speed. Um, there was quite nice. As soon as I touched down my trail, my trail leg's already there waiting to come down quickly. My arm is controlled, it's quite good. Um, between, I think, like like I said again with before, my right arm is swinging in an awkward located, sort of, sort of to the side, it's a bit awkward. I think what I certainly did better this race was my arm was going more forward, sort of giving me a more of a lean. Lean's still not perfect, but it's uh, not too bad. So this was, these hurdles are probably my most cleanest, so they were very good. Um, Good attack, still feel like I should be jumping less and sort of driving in more. So if I can get a straight leg, I am working on it. If you can see Alex over here um, in lane seven, his leg is, well, he's a bit high over, but you get the point. He is a, a nice straight leg which comes down nicely, um, whereas mine is quite bent, so it's less powerful than coming down. However, you know, this is not too bad. I ended up hitting the hurdle there a little bit with my toe. So when you're hurdling, you want to keep your toe, you know, sort of your foot high up, you don't want it to slink downwards in that direction I want it to be straight uh, you know parallel with the hurdle I think my arm gets a bit lazy here coming off but nonetheless good drive I think I'm kind of swiping a bit here as well that's not so much what you want to do but that was a good hurdle nonetheless and I feel like to be fair my arm shouldn't be doing that it should be more tucked in um, but you know it's hard to sort of do that Good hurdle. Oh, actually, no. That this is the this is the problem hurdle here. This one, I just, I just didn't attack well enough. I sort of didn't get my leg high enough at the right time and tried to do what I was saying before with a straight leg. And this is this comes under flexibility. So when I when I improve my flexibility, I should be able to do this with more ease. But effectively, I've completely gone and clocked the hurdle. And this is the worst way you can hit a hurdle. Probably is with your lead leg because it cuts down time so much. And it just meant that everything coming down just sinks. So I'll sink in there, 
rather than stay tall. So you can see my knee slightly bending here, and that's not what you want. Um, and see, I see I'm all over the place. So I, my first step and all that is sort of trying to regain my balance. Um, this one was a good hurdle. Kind of hit it with my ankle here. Probably trying to after fighting the balancing and all that. Um, and this one, I think this was a good hurdle. Oh no, this is this is another problem hurdle. This was again lead leg hitting it and then coming through and smacking it with my ankle, which at the moment is pretty swollen. So um, that took out quite a bit, and I've sort of slowed down here. So my my problem there is is this last bit of the race. I'm I'm getting tired and I'm slowing down when everyone else is starting to catch up on me. Um, again, hit it with my trail leg coming through. Um, in right on the on the ankle and that, that that hurts a lot. You don't want to do that. And then as a result of that, getting to the line is just a bit of a sloppy rush. But you know what? I did all right. And fourteen thirty five, um, it's a good time. Um, I'm happy. You know, it's a big PB. Um, but you know, I feel like I'm a bit annoyed because if I didn't make those mistakes at this part of the race, then maybe it would have been a, uh, a sub fourteen or a low fourteen, like fourteen one. So. You know, just got to take it into the next race on Wednesday, and I hope this sort of analysis has given you insight into sort of what you need to do with hurdles and um, what's best. But I think the one thing I did best, better than I have done before, is my trail leg has come way more cleanly through and is nicely coming through onto the next stride. So cool, yeah.